Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number five of exercise five point three. The question says the first term of an AP is five, the last term is forty five, and the sum is four hundred. Find the number of terms and the common difference. Means you are given an AP in which the first term of that AP is five, and the last term of that AP is Forty-five, and the sum of this AP is equal to four hundred. You have to find the number of terms and the common difference in this case. So, first of all, the last term is given to you, and this is the nth term in this AP. So, to find out the nth term in an AP, we have a formula. This is the formula for finding the nth term, and the nth term is given to you as 45, which is the last term here, and the first term is given as 5. The number of terms you have to find out, and this is so. This is the first equation we have. If I solve this further, this 5 can be shifted to this side, and plus will be become minus here, and 45 minus uh, 5 will become 40, and this will be. Equals to this. Now this is this can be considered as first equation. Now the sum of these n terms is given to you. So if I have to find the sum of n terms, we have a formula. So this is the formula for finding the sum of n terms when the first term. And the last term is given to you. So the sum here is given as 400. This is equals to n by 2. The number of terms we don't know, but the first term is 5, and the last term is 45. Now, if I add this, this will become 50, and this is equals to 400. This can be cancelled. 25 times, and if I have to find the value of n, I have to shift this 25 to the left hand side, and then here it is multiplying n. So when shifted, this should divide. So this can be cancelled 16 times, because 25 into 1 is 25, carry 15, and this will be 150. And 25 into 6 is 150. So here, the number of terms in this AP must be equals to 16. Then, after that, you have to find the common difference here. To find out the common difference, what we can do is we can substitute the value of n here in the first equation. So if I substitute the value of n in the first equation, I'll get my common difference. So here. 40 will be equals to n minus 1 into d, and here the number of terms are 16. This is equals to d, so this will be equals to 15d. Now the value of d will be equals to 40 upon 15. So if I cancel this, 5, 8 times, 5, 3 times. So the common difference should be equals to 8 by 3. So this should be the answer here. So this is how. You can solve this question. If you like this video, you can uh, please subscribe to our channel. And you, if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.